Hey, it's Tango Oscar Mike. I am off work today, but I do have a lot of stuff to get done today. Um, <laughs> holy cow, look at all the leaves. It looks like we're pretty much done though. So it looks like I need to do leaves again one more time. Um, Augie's peeing. I uh, don't know if I'm going to do that today or not, but maybe. We'll see. Um, I'm going to get new tires on the truck. Uh, I have these, these tires, there's about 35,000 miles on these tires. Not a lot, but they were more, more off-road. These are the Mickey Thompson Deegan 38 tires. <laughs> they were super loud on the highway. So when I like driving to Dayton or just long trips, um, it would drive my wife crazy. And it would actually drive me crazy. You really had to turn the radio up. Um, so I'm going to try some new tires. Um, these wore real bad in the center, uh, probably from overinflation. They probably needed to run a little bit less air pressure. Um, the tread on the outside of the tire is actually still pretty good. It's not, uh, it would pass inspection. The tread in the center of the tire wouldn't pass inspection. And, um, I get a little bit, uh, I've, in the rain, I've had a little bit of hydroplaning. So I'm getting new tires today, uh, four new tires. I'm getting the Yokohama. Um, Geolander AT-15s, which are more for, they're better for road travel than they are for off-road. I don't go off-road very often, you know, dirt, I don't consider dirt roads really off-road. I do drive around uh, down in my yard and, you know, I live out here in the country and everybody, you constantly driving in grass. But other than that, I don't do any hardcore off-roading. I love the way they look. Um, but they're just not practical and, uh, you know, I do have some big road trips planned coming up. Um, so I want to get the new tires and winter's coming. I don't want, I definitely don't want these in the winter time. So we're going to do that today. Um, Augie's just hanging out here checking, Augie's just out here checking things out. Um, the gutters, since the leaves are pretty much off the trees at this point, uh, the gutters are completely full. I'm going to have to climb up on the roof and do the gutters and uh, get some other stuff taken care of. Now, I had an idea the other day and it occurred to me. Um, I have this crank up trailer and I wasn't able to use it for CQ worldwide. Um, I can't set it up where it's at. There's not enough room. You need a 25 foot turning radius. Um, uh, so that makes it really hard to put it someplace. I have lots of space down here in the bottom part of my yard, but it's defeating the, it's defeating the purpose of the crank up tower. If I put it down there, I'd, I'm still lower than if I set it up here somewhere. So this is my front yard. The road's right up there. Power lines are actually across the road, so they're not that close. I have this flat area up here, but the problem with this flat area is there's not any room. Um, I'd have to cut a couple of trees down right here. And we don't want to do that because these trees I've been nurturing, um, the trees here on the corners, that one's dying. One of them's completely dead. Um, so they're going to fall. So we want these trees to stay. Uh, these pine trees are dead, but even if I go up there, there's not enough room. Like I said, you need 20, a 25 foot turning uh, radius for that antenna to turn. Um, the pine trees are gonna come out. They died, those couple of little trees. I could still probably put it right up here, but that would, it would be really tight. And, uh, and if I put the tower up, because the trees go out when, as you go up, it would definitely hit. Um, there is this area over here that there's just a bunch of little trees. It's far enough away from the road. There's a bunch of little trees, but there's this one big tree right there. But if I cleared just those couple little trees and that one tree out, maybe, maybe this one over here, cause that's just an old dead tree. I might have enough room to put the trailer over there. And then I could leave it there all the time. Um, and leave it set up so I could use it. My, all my connections for my antennas are right here. So it would make it nice. And 
I could use it all the time. The only thing I'd have to do is I'd have to get a control cable run into the house so I could use the rotator on it. Um, but this is my control box. This is where everything is. And I could hook that up pretty easily. That's the uh, coax for my end fed, which is up there in that tree. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really considering doing that. That's not perfectly flat, but I could dig it out a little bit and then I could park the trailer there. It gets it away from the shed and it actually would let, allow me to use it more often, which uh, I think would be great. Because um, like I said, if I go down over the hill um, and I put it up, uh, you're com I'm completely defeating the purpose. If I put it up here and raise it up the 32 feet or whatever that tower is, I'm like the highest spot in the area. And I think that would be awesome. So yeah, you can see the leaves in the gutter. So I'll be probably doing that today, going up on the roof today and taking care of that. But nah, So I really want to do that. But uh, so first I got to go to the recycling place. We have a ton of cans that need recycled that we've been collecting all year. And they're just, there's just a big stack of them in here in trash bags. So I'm going to load those up, go to the recycling place, drop those off, and then go get the tires on my truck. And then I have a bunch of other errands to run. I got to go to the, uh, the butcher and get some chicken. Um, we're low on chicken, so I need to restock chicken for winter so I don't have to worry about it. And uh, Home Depot. There's a few things. So this is probably going to be a vlog type video. We'll see how it turns out at the end. But um, yeah, I, I can't take Augie to the dealer with me. Um, so he's going to have to stay home. But uh, yeah, we'll get some stuff done. Well, that's the uh, first part. That took longer than expected, but uh, new tires are on the truck. I've driven uh, just a few miles from the dealership, but I can already tell you uh, they're much quieter than my old tires. My old tires would, uh, there'd be a roar coming from the tires uh, when I got up over, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour. We long run out of things to say, and I think I better go. So don't forget me. Well, hey, I um, went to the recycle place and dropped off the cans now. The back of my truck was almost completely full, and I think I got $16 for the cans. Um, and that's a year's worth of beer cans taking up space in the garage. It's just not, it's not worth it, but I hate to see this stuff not be recycled. So, but that's done. I uh, went to Home Depot and I picked up water softener for our water softener. We have uh, very hard well water. And uh, since the weather's nice, I want to get enough uh, salt so I don't have to worry about it for the next, you know, six months. So I have 15 40 pound bags of salt in the back of the truck. So about 600 pounds of salt. Uh, again, don't do math on, don't do math on YouTube. But now I'm on my way home. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> I was doing the leaves. As you can see, I was just mulching and mowing at the same time. I wasn't actually picking the leaves up. I was mulching and mowing doing all that I uh, went up on the roof and cleaned all the gutters I just uh, used a leaf blower and walked along the edge of the roof with the leaf blower and blew all the leaves out was heading down that way and the motor on my zero turn exploded uh, it seized up and I guess it was just uh, overworking it too much with leaves I checked the oil before I started and had plenty of oil um, it was due for an oil change, and the only thing I can think of is maybe the uh, the oil filter got clogged, or maybe it was just too much work, and I and I spun a bearing or something. But it fully locked up, won't even turn over. <laughs> uh, uh, it's only got 230 hours on it, um, or actually no, uh, 2300 hours on it. So. But yeah, I can't even pull it because it won't disengage. So I don't know if the transmission broke. I'm wondering if the tranny went because uh, I can't disengage the transmission. 
And maybe the transmission is locked to the, I don't know. So maybe it's not the motor, but when I, when the moat, when it happened, I pulled the dipstick, I popped the dipstick out of the engine and literally it was just pouring smoke out of there. So something broke, it, you know, I could have broke a connecting rod or something like that, but it's, it's fully seized, it won't turn over at all. Um, and I tried pulling it up the hill with my ATV, but the, the back tires just roll real slow, like something else is going on. So, oh well, now I've got to haul all those around back and into our storage room. So they're in there for winter. So. More to do, more to do, more to do. Well, that's it for this little vlog. I did do one more thing before I came in and that is I chalked my tires. I got new tires today, like I said. So I inflated them to about 32 PSI and uh, I took a block of chalk and I marked on the tires and I'll post a picture here. And what you do is you drive forward and backwards, you know, 50, 75 feet. Um, and then you look at the chalk and see where the chalk line, where the chalk has been worn off and if there's any chalk left. And at 32, the center of the tire, there was still a little chalk in the center, very center of the tire, which means the tire was underinflated. So I took it up to about 33 and a half PSI and did it again and uh, just the very, very edge of the tire, the, like the extreme edge of the tread, um, had a wee little bit of chalk left on it. So that tells me that the pressure is right around 33. And it was almost the same with the front and the back. And I was told on the Tacomas, the front and the back pressures would be different. Um, but that was about it. Um, and then I came in, I got a shower, fed Augie, and I've got my food on right now. But I'm going to wrap this vlog up for today. Oh, man, busy day for being off work, but um, still didn't get everything done that I needed to do. I wanted to run to the butcher today and get the chicken, and I, I just didn't get a chance to do that. So, And I still have some uh, bacon that I have to break up and vacuum seal um, because we won't eat a whole package of... You know, my wife bought a bunch of bacon, and we won't eat it all at one time. We only eat a couple pieces um, because of my histamine sensitivity. I can't eat a lot of bacon that's high in histamine, but I can eat a couple of pieces. So I have to break it up, vacuum seal it, and then um, and then I think I'm done for the night. Oh, I was thinking about making some cookies. I'm in the mood for some cookies and I got some sugar cookie mix to make, so I don't know. Busy day. This is Tank Oscar Mike, 73. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tango Oscar Mike.